Okay, y'all, welcome back to the studio. Let's go ahead and get this started. As you remember, we're talking about mobiles. In this particular case, this is an example of kinetic art. Now, kinetic art has to do with art that moves. Um, in this particular case, you're going to be working on a mobile modeled after the work of Alexander Calder, like, right, like this one right here. Um, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using your images, the, the drawings that you did. Remember, you need to have eight dynamic drawings that you're going to be using on the, this project on the individual paddles. Now, once you have your drawings done, then you're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, here we are back down at the table for the right for the next step. All you're going to need is you're going to need your drawings right now. I have four examples right here, but you need a grand total of eight drawings. Notice one, two, three, four. Now, so that means you're going to need two papers with drawings on them. I'm not going to do the entire project on camera, but I do want to show you the general rule. Once you have all four of your drawings, you're going to need to get a separate type of paper. In this particular case, I have a piece. I'm going to go ahead and move this one out of here. Um, a piece of this colored paper that I'm going to be used as a backing piece for each of my little panels. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to need to have some sort of string. I have yarn here, but you can use any string that you have available um, or even a piece of wire will work just fine. You just need something to string all your pieces together. Now, you're also going to need a pair of scissors and some glue. I highly recommend using glue sticks, but I'm going to go ahead and use regular glue all just to make sure that you can see how you can go ahead and do it in case you have done your pictures um, on, a, on a piece of paper that's going to absorb uh, glue the way that this type of paper does, the printer paper. Now, in this particular case, I have not colored it, but yours should be co colored. This is just an example piece. Now, let's go ahead and continue onward. Okay, so the first step after you have your drawings done, you're going to go ahead and cut out your pictures. Now, they can be anything, any shape that you want them to be, but they need to be the different individual drawings on different shapes. So I'll be right back. Okay, once you have all your pieces cut, and I have four pieces cut right here, I have some rectangular piece, I have um, an organic shape right here. I have a couple of pieces that are a little more geometric and organic in the different shapes that I'm going to be using. So for the next step, you're going to need to get yourself a piece of string. You don't need any more than about mm, that much, just enough for you to be able to tie it to your other um, source a little bit later, your, your actual support. So you're going to go ahead and cut your strings. So in this particular case, since I only have four right now, I'm only going to cut four, but you need to make sure that you have one for each one. So that's going to mean a grand total of eight. Now, there's not a particular measurement, but I would recommend probably about eight inches. I do not have a ruler right this second, so I cannot necessarily show you, but um, about eight inches works just fine. You can be, it can be a little bit smaller. It can be a little bit longer. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay. This is a very forgiving project. You can make a lot of mistakes. Now, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to take this end piece. You're going to wrap it around, make a crisscross. You're going to go underneath and then you're going to pull it just to make a little knot. Okay. This is important so that it doesn't slide out later. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to place it on your colored paper, just like so, okay? And you're going to add a little bit of glue. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put glue this piece first. Now, once I glue this, where's my glue? Why is, my not, why is it not coming out? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue just in a small spiral. Notice there's not big old gobs of glue on here. Now I'm also going to do a few extra dots on here just to make sure that I have a decent amount of glue. It's not gobs and gobs of glue. There's not big old blobs of glue on the back here. This is especially important if you're used marker to color your pictures. You don't need any more than about this much glue. Then you're going to go ahead and smooth it out with your fingers. Spread it out really far. Again, a glue stick is preferable, but you can 100% do it this way. Okay, once you spread out your glue a little bit, and your, your fingers can get a little bit messy, just rub your hands together, it usually comes right off. Then we're going to go ahead and take that piece, and we're going to place it right on top of that string. 
So we're going to just place it right here and I'm going to push down. You can see the string through it, but that's okay. Once it has been glued down, you're going to go ahead and cut this out and this is going to be your panel. Now, normally I would just sit here and glue all the pieces down, but you just want I just want you to see just how one of the panels works. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this one out even though it's not quite dry yet. Okay, so there it is. This is just one of the panels for your mobile and you can draw whatever you want on this side or use something that has a pattern, that's up to you. But this is just one panel of your mobile. Um, you remember you need to make eight pieces and that's the extent of what you need to be accomplishing today.